All right, so this is a couple weeks after the last video. Uh, everything looks way different already. You can see how big the corn and the beans got. And these are some seedlings, uh, tomato seedlings that I'm hardening off here. You gotta take them outside for a couple hours every day and let them get used to the heat and the sun and stuff. This corn. We got some watermelons that are just starting to grow their tendrils and going up the trellis here. Got some empty space. Uh, I'm waiting for some other seedlings to get a little bigger before I put them out. Then I got two uh, fairy tale eggplants here. They just grow small uh, mini eggplants. I think sometimes they're called Japanese eggplant. Uh, and then these are spaghetti squash back here, right there and over there. And back in those buckets are my potatoes that are pretty much dead. I, I don't expect to find much uh, potatoes in those buckets because I just planted them a little late and it was just too hot. So we'll see what happens when I dig them up in a few days. These are all my bush beans over here. You can see the grids that I made for the square foot gardening. I just used garden twine, which is probably going to decompose uh, in a few months, but that's okay. I'll use something more permanent later. So I did nine square feet of uh, two different types of bush beans here. There's nine here, there's nine over here. These ones are the yellow, so we'll see what happens there. Then back on this four foot segment of the trellis, I have the Blue Lake uh, beans. They will grow pretty much to the top of this trellis, which is eight feet tall. It's actually six feet from the surface of the soil. Then over here we have cucumbers. They're pickling cucumbers, so they'll be a perfect size to make pickles. So I'm excited about that. I already bought the jars, the mason jars to put the pickles in. And then over here is the tomato bed. I don't have much in it now, but all those seedlings that I just showed you earlier are going to go in there. Um, you can see right here, I did have a tomato seedling here, but a hornworm got on it, and just over a single night, the hornworm pretty much ate all of the leaves and the smaller branches, so I'm going to end up pulling this out and replacing it once the seedlings are ready to go. So. This is a Heartland tomato, which is a nice heat tolerant variety. Oh, and in case you're wondering, the uh, the uh, film here is a, is a mylar. They're actually those emergency blankets, um, but you could actually buy it as a gardening product called Reflective Silver Mulch, um, and it actually has multiple purposes. Uh, it reflects the sun back up into the foliage to help the pr the uh, plants grow faster. Uh, and it also helps prevent pests like aphids and things like that because it confuses them, supposedly, that's what I read. Um, but then it also just acts as a mulch and it helps keep a lot of the moisture into the soil instead of evaporating. So uh, the soil stays more uh, moist for a longer period of time and you don't have to water as much in that bed. Down here is uh, my herbs. We got some rosemary there couple of sage plants and then I have an Italian oregano and a Greek oregano and then right here is a dill plant that died because it just got too hot. Uh, I'll probably plant, plant dill again in the fall and it, it'll uh, grow all throughout the winter. Don't have much else in this bed yet. I'm waiting for it to get a little cooler before I fill it up the rest of the way with my herbs. And uh, I have a, a row cover here that I put over these hoops just to shade it a little bit. It, it gets, the morning sun still goes in through the side a little bit there, but then towards the afternoon, uh, it really helps to shade it so that the herbs don't get burned because the herbs are a little more sensitive to sunlight than most other stuff. It'll just cause them to bolt and flower earlier than they should. Uh, over here I got my it's another spaghetti squash, but I planted it in a container. And a couple of peppers over there. This is my, uh, these are my two other tomato containers. I'll go around on this side. This is a Mr. Stripey heirloom. It's not heat tolerant, so you can tell it's under a little stress. 
but uh, it's growing a few tomatoes there. This is actually the very first tomato plant I've ever planted, so it was before I learned about heat tolerance and all that sort of thing. And this is the uh, Hawaiian Tropic, which is doing a lot better. It still has little crispy leaves, but I mean, it's over 105 degrees lately, so yeah, it's doing as good as it can. And I have to fill these containers every single day. I, I wasn't able to uh, set up the drip system for this. So. There it is. And that's pretty much it for now.